stay stay in your own lane. There's your 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 own lane will never be crowded. If you try to do what everyone else is doing, you never give yourself the opportunity to stand up. There's, there's, there's no Joe Claudio outside of music. This is me every day. Um, if any, anybody know you, just, just come and find you in the studio working. Um, I, I am an entertainer, and this is my life, and I ain't bought body yet. So this is what I do every day, you know. If, if it's not from video creation, if it's not from from uh, social media marketing, I'm, I'm in the arts, and I love it. It's, it's what, what I love to do, and this is what I commit my life to. So music. Music, entertainment, this is me 100, just maybe nothing else. So. Um, I started through ADL Drowning. Um, a number of people know ADL Drowning from Dance Fest days and Nifka too as well. Um, I, I founded the group back at Allen School and we came through the, you know, came through the industry through dance. Um, through dancing and doing a lot of backup dancing with a lot of different artists. I, I grew the love for, for music. so. Um, it started inspiring me to want to get in front of me and start, start doing more too. Also, also with, the, um, with the dancing, I started doing videos, dance videos for the dance group. So then my love for videography developed too. So all of it is just like in one big pool, you know. Um, so then I, I got into the arts from, from dance then videos and then music and everything I want, yeah. Um, I mean, Soka as an artist, as I said, it did a lot of Baka dancing, Blood, Lil Rick, everyone else. So it's, it's Bar Barbados too. So, so the love for Soka and walking up and everything was just there and the dancing. So most of my music is dance music. If you go back through my catalog of music, all of it would be a dance music from up here, coconuts, everything else is just a dance. So I still try to pay homage to, to my dance background and, keep the dance vibe and energy up. I used to shoot a lot of dance videos in, in my early days and everyone used to say, my job, man, I can see you on CBC, I can see your videos doing this. So then transitioning into doing the music videos, it was almost similar because it's like dancing and videos. So it just, I just had to sing everything the same way. Funny thing, my, my, my first music video uh, was like like Put's first music video because back then I put used to dance, used to dance in the same circle. And um, so in Queen in Spark one day when, when I got my camera for the first time, we was always talking about shooting a video. I was like, yeah, like pipe man, let me go and do this random video. So we just randomly do a video and it and it blocked that same exact and like he wasn't even the light pipe that you know I know from the massive light pipe. But um, but you know it, it just shows it just shows you how something small could could generate something massive, you know? That's, um, I I have a I, I have an eye for, for seeing things, you know, like, like for example, when if, if I try to shoot a door, like I want to shoot this door the best possible way. So even even as I'm here looking, okay, well, I could have someone there standing. If I shoot from this angle, I could get the best angle, blah, blah, blah. So every time my mind is always constantly working on getting the best shots. So when, when I'm shooting the process, like, okay, you, you got, got the idea, we got the location down, we got the cast down. Okay, well, we, we can just work the magic and, and it always happens, you know, always be. This year, this year for me is an exciting year for me. This is my first year doing music production. I'm releasing a mu music project. Um, I have a project called the Player One Rhythm. A bashment, bashment Rhythm, this is my first approach. Um, and it's the first production I've done from growing up where music, we're build, build, building the beat, recording, mixing, shooting the music videos. I have two songs on it too as well. Um, I have Verse Verse Well, Zach the Chat, and Extra Well on the project too as well. So for, for me, it, it's an achievement, you know. I've, I've always, always wanted to be a part of the whole entire process, not only from the aspect of shooting videos, but I always, always wanted to be like okay, well, well, let me let me see what the beat process like. Let me see what behind the scenes like and like. So you know, being able to control that whole aspect for me is is achievement. You know, um, my my advice will always be be consistent, be determined. Don't be don't be afraid to lose. Don't be afraid to fail because failure is what's made winners. Being able to get back up after you fail is. Is, is, is a strength, you know, because most people is going to fail. Most 
95% is gonna fail at first, but not 95% is gonna get gonna get back up. Just make sure you're that person. Yo, D, it's your boy Joe Claudia, and you're watching for a full of a close-up. Lock in.